All right, let's talk about the SpongeBob teasers from both Mercedes-Benz Stadium and Maroon 5. Now, keep in mind, these are teasers. These are not con- confirmation for anything in regarding SpongeBob being at the Super Bowl. It's a good sign that they are, and I really hope they do. But take the teasers that I'll be talking about in this video with a grain of salt. At this point, since it's this late in the game, we probably won't get confirmation until the actual Super Bowl themselves. So the only way we're going to know for sure that they're playing Sweet Victory in the Super Bowl is to actually tune into the Super Bowl and find out for ourselves. Which, I guess then again, you could also find out out on YouTube after the Super Bowl. But take the tweets you hear about in this video with a grain of salt. And let me know in the comments if you guys is think that there's a good chance that Sweet Victory could be performed at the Super Bowl. So, with that said, let's get into the video. Alright, so, if I haven't already made it clear, this video is based off a couple teasers that I got from Mercedes-Benz Stadium and Maroon 5's Twitter accounts. So, neither of them confirm that Sweet Victory will be played at the Super Bowl. So this is not a video being made to confirm the news. This is more a speculation video. This is a speculation video. So you got it. We cool. Well, you understand that we're here to have fun and speculate. Because to be fair, there's definitely a lot to be excited about. Like I'm excited and you should be excited, especially if you're a SpongeBob fan. If even if if like this isn't confirmation that Sweet Victory is Super Bowl, there's anticipation in just the idea of, ooh, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna tune into the Super Bowl. Or, or are we gonna see Sweet Victory? Or are we gonna see something SpongeBob related? What are they gonna do? Is Adam Levine gonna sing? Is Dave Glenn David Glenn Isley gonna sing? Or what's going on? Or are they just gonna show the clip? You know, and I think that's a big part of why nobody's confirming the news like they want to build that anticipation and to the NFL's benefit they want to get as many eyes glued to TV screens for the Super Bowl you know and in a sense this might be a way to bring in like animation fans who normally don't tune in to the Super Bowl I'm sure there are, are but just you know for people that aren't on Super Bowl fans, this is a good way to bring in new viewers. So I think that's why they're not making clear. So since I previously made a video talking about the Sweet Victory petition, I figured I'd give you guys both a recap and a bit of an update on the teasers that came out. So I previously covered that there have been there's been a request from SpongeBob fans to have the song from a song from the show called Sweet Victory from the episode Band Geeks, which is quite a decent episode, in my opinion, to be played at the Super Bowl to honor her creator Steven Hillenburg, who sadly died. And the most notable petition, as I talked about previously, is made by this dude named Israel Kalunga. Kalunga. You'll see his name in the change.org or screenshot I'll have up and I'll also have the petition itself linked in the description but this particular petition has so far reached over 1.18 million signatures and and I highly suggest checking out the petition to see updated numbers because from the time I upload this video that number might go up and up and up so I really wanted to make this video more as an update video rather because we really can't confirm anything and up and I don't think we'll get any confirmation until we actually watch the Super Bowl halftime show itself to see what's really going on. So what has happened since my last video? What is So what is clear? What do we know so far that's going to happen? Well, we do know that Maroon 5 is definitely going to be headlining the Super Bowl's halftime show. It's going to be held on February 3rd at... Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, and Maroon 5 will be joined by Travis Scott and Big Boy. Okay, so that's what we definitely know so far. What they have released, Maroon 5 and Mercedes-Benz Stadium, is that their Twitter accounts have released these couple teasers. Like, Maroon 5 has released a teaser basically saying that, yes, we're going to be playing at the Super Bowl halftime show. But what you'll notice is that that there was a split second where they show a glimpse of Spongebob. Now, again, it doesn't necessarily confirm that, yes, they'll be playing Sweet Victory, but it is a sign that they are hearing the demand itself. You know, they're hearing that people want it and maybe they're considering things. So that's that's what I think we can assess from that teaser. Mercedes-Benz Stadium's Twitter account 
um, has released a GIF. They posted a GIF of SpongeBob dancing in his band outfit, as you could see from my thumbnail. Again, not a confirmation, but they are hearing the demand. At the very least, it sounds like the people who do the social media and PR for Mercedes-Benz Stadium and Maroon 5 are hearing that there's a demand for Sweet Victory to be played at the Super Bowl. There's there's also supposedly, according to Velasky Bum, as well as Time Magazine and USA Today, supposedly the voice actor for Squidward, Roger Bumpus, put up a post, a private post, saying that Squidward will introduce the halftime show. But since I can't find the tweet, the I can't find the Facebook post myself, you can... There, um, the Time Magazine article I'll have listed in the description has a screenshot of it. But I'm going to focus this video more on the two tweets rather than that Facebook post because those tweets you can still find. I'll have links to them below in the description. But going off of these, these two tweets, what can we expect from the Super Bowl? You know, that's the thing that we should be wondering. It's a question of what can we expect rather than what's really going to go down. Because at this point, this late in the game, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they're not going to confirm that they're going to play Sweet Victory or that there's going to be something SpongeBob related at the Super Bowl halftime show. At this point, I feel like they're probably posting these to hype up that something is going to come at the Super Bowl. I can't confirm it. That is my that is what I think is going to happen. Optimistically, what I like to think, like I said in my previous video, I like to think that maybe we'll see a thing where or after Adam Levine, Travis Scott, and Big Boy get done with their songs, we'll probably see... I, I'd like to see Adam go up on stage and say, Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Thank you guys for coming at the Super Bowl. We know you guys have been asking for a sweet victory to play at the Super Bowl in honor of Steven Hillenburg, and we're gonna play it now. And, you know, of course, they start playing Sweet Victory. And that would be really cool if it happens. We definitely can't confirm it, and I wouldn't be surprised if... What's going on is that both Maroon 5 and Mercedes-Benz Stadium are just trying to build up hype. You know, trying to get people excited for the Super Bowl. Even if they're not saying that, you know, they're going to do something Spongebob related. They are saying we're hearing the demand. But they'll have to tune in to see what we're really going to do. And, and as a PR student, I could definitely understand where they're coming from, you know. Building that anticipation, that in itself is enough to people to go online and go on like Twitter and say, oh, I hope they play Speed Victory at the Super Bowl. And it's a way for new viewers, and I think the NFL would really like this. It's a way of them to get new viewers and maybe people like me who don't normally watch the Super Bowl to come check it out. So... Hopefully that's what they're saying. I really hope so. Don't take this video as confirmation. This is a this is all a speculation. I really hope they play Swing Victory at the Super Bowl. And don't take this video as me saying I hope they don't. Like that's not at all what I'm saying. As I said in my previous SpongeBob video and in saying in this one, I really hope they do. If there's any show out there where a fan base is really demanding something related to the show be played at the Super Bowl, it would definitely be the SpongeBob fan base. And I really hope, as I said in my previous SpongeBob video, that there was a thing where the NFL, Nickelodeon, and Maroon 5 came together and they're having at least discussions about what we can do at the Super Bowl. And hopefully that means that we'll get sweet victory. So not a confirmation. I know there's a lot of people you guys watching that understand that I'm saying this is not a confirmation video. This is my speculation. But I really hope that they do play Sweet Victory at the Super Bowl. But please let me know in the comments. Are you hoping that Sweet Victory will be played at the Super Bowl? Or are you concerned they're just going to play the clip and that's all about it? Because because they're teasers, you never know. That could also be the case that they're building up hype. But they're just going to play the clip at the Super Bowl and nothing else. Which... For the fans at actually at the Super Bowl, that might be a treat, you know, because you'll have you'll be in the crowd and they'll be all like, you know, dancing along to the song. But for the viewers at home, it's kind of pathetic because if they just play the clip, you may as well just go look up the clip on YouTube. So and I really hope they don't disrespect viewers like that. So please post your thoughts down below on whether you think Sweet Victory will be played at the Super Bowl. This has been Blood Moon Bobby and thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, be sure to like this Blood Moon Bobby video if you enjoyed it. Please share this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. Be sure to ring the notification bell to be notified about my latest upload. Follow me on my social media pages at Blood Moon Bobby to find out about what I'll be covering next and for more of my opinions. Thanks for watching.